Hi everyone, it's Terry. I created a quick little fast-paced video for you that speeded up showing you about motif stitches. Go to Option Programmable Fill Creator and then you want to go to the m main menu and select motif, New Motif Stitch. Now you can also create decorative fills here. So I'll open up a template that I downloaded from the internet. It's a little bunny and you'll notice that I'm modifying it by selecting it, grabbing those corners, and then I'm adjusting the transparency under the template. It, a template's really nice when you're creating something that's a shape. Now I have a grid on, but really I'm not going to use a grid for this. I want you to see that if you have a grid, anytime you create a point by using select point, it is actually going to line up with that grid. So with this bunny, because he's curved, you want to remove the grid by sliding that bar to the far left under grid. Now, left mouse clicks will produce a point. Think of this as a piece of elastic that has a start and end, the start being on the left and the end on the right. It happens to be right through the center of this design, but you could actually form your stitch lower down on the horizontal plane. Now, I'm trying to follow the outline as best as I can with, unless you want to have a stitch running through the middle, what you're going to have to do, which I will do, is take one uh, a point and drag it across the center and you basically have two pieces of string then and you're going to follow the bottom of the shape twice or the top of the shape twice. In this video I'm following it uh, twice through the bottom. Now just as a little aside, I do have a rabbit. Uh, he's a mini Rex. He is five and a half months old and his name is Baxter and Baxter uh, was neutered this week, which hopefully will inspire him to become potty trained, much like a cat. He's a smart little bunny and very, very sweet, although he's not too fond of his antibiotic. In fact, I end up with more of it on me than, than his little mouth. But he's not ugly and he doesn't bite, so that's good. Now at this point, what I need to do I zoomed in and I'm just trying to fine tune along the bottom to make sure that I have everything lined up because when I go through the second time t taking that string that's in the middle and laying it down across the bottom I'm going to try to follow the points as much as I can. Um, back to um, Baxter, he's a tricolor mini Rex. You can look that up. He's very pretty. And um, as a sudden, now you can see what I've done is I've grabbed that string and now I'm laying it down using the left mouse button and just stretching it along the bottom of the rabbit. I'm also a wildlife rehabber. I started doing that this earlier this year when one of my dogs got into a, a rabbit nest and uh, these are wild cottontail rabbits and you have to go through an educational process and get a permit by the state. So I have rehabbed cottontail rabbits. By the time they're about 28 days old, they can be released in the wild as long as they're healthy. And then I've also rehabbed squirrels Squirrels take about 12 weeks. This is a, a gray squirrel, squirrel. And right now, I have two that I've had since they were five days old. And they're now about almost five weeks old. They'll spend the winter with me. And they will um, be released sometime in the spring. So your goal is with a wild animal is that you want to take care of them and, and take care of their needs, but 
you don't want them to imprint on a human. You want them to be afraid of you. And by the time they're about seven or eight weeks old, I won't handle them nearly as much. So you can see now I've gone around the outside of this little bunny and he looks pretty darn good and reminds me a great deal of Baxter because Baxter's ears are erect and Baxter weighs about three pounds which isn't very big. So you can use these motifs in the software and like I'm creating a line and no, or just a straight line and I'm placing some squirrels motifs that I created. Now I have a tool that is curved line and it, with curve you can every time you touch your shape is forming a curve and I'm applying a, a, a second motif to that, which is an acorn that I created. And then you can also have a, a shape that, and have a motif on the outside of it as an outline, but you can also have one on the inside as a, a region fill. And then you can also uh, have a stipple stitch. And with the stipple stitch, you can have a motif pattern on that stipple. Now on the stipple stitch, what you want to do is to uh, adjust your spacing. And then when you resize your motif, you want to keep your aspect ratio locked and then you also will want to adjust the spacing so it looks good. So this gives you a great idea of what the process is like creating a motif stitch. I hope you enjoy seeing this and if you have any questions let me know. You can join me in my Facebook group, Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire, and there you'll find several people who own a Luminaire or a Solaris or a Stellaire or an Altair, and um, then you can, if you own the software, you can follow some of my videos. And here I'm just playing the stitch out, and I'm Terry Mappet. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching my videos. Bye-bye.